Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. They don't like being told that we will not comply. They, they just think because they're in power, they can do whatever they want. And that's simply not the case. So we've had a lot of success here. A lot of people have come here. And I think their, their whole uh, objective is to make an example out of me. And if that's their objective, they will, they will fail. It seems these days, constitutional rights and freedoms are a thing of the past, whether it's freedom of speech, freedom of religion, or the right to peacefully protest. People across Canada are receiving fines, threats for arrests, and beside me, I have David Lindsay. You've gotten a lot of fines, haven't you? Yeah, I've got uh, four fines now already. Three of them are $2,300, allegedly for organizing rallies, and the other ones were simply not wearing a mask in, um, in a public indoor space. Right, so I'm here in Kelowna, B.C. with David, just at the end of one of the protests that you are an organizer for, correct? Or uh, There's no real organizers, it's just an, uh, an agreement that everybody meets here every Saturday. Okay, and but for some reason, look what's in your hand here. Yeah, I was given a ticket today for uh, $2,300 for allegedly organizing an event. Um, I don't know what facts they're relying upon or anything else. I asked the police officer how they could issue tickets for somebody exercising constitutional rights and liberties and his basic response was you can fight it in court. And how much is this ticket for? 2300 2300 you've seen that before, thousands of dollars. And so why do you think they're picking you as the, the man to fine here? Well, we had the mega rally back in December 12th. We had 1,500 people here, which is probably the largest rally in Kelowna history. We had all over the Okanagan interior, British Columbia here. And essentially, uh, Premier Horgan got really upset Monday morning about it. And um, the politicians are upset because we're basically telling them we're not complying. Mm -hmm. your, your orders are unlawful. They're unconstitutional. They have no factual supporting figures to back it up and as a result we will not comply and the problem with them is they don't like being told that we will not comply they, they just think because they're in power they can do whatever they want and that's simply not the case so we've had a lot of success here a lot of people have come here and i think their their whole uh, objective is to make an example out of me and if that's their objective they will they will fail well you know what else is always a big question to me is why is it that some protests are okay and then clearly when they're talking about freedoms rights and things like that they're not right now across Canada even in other places in BC we have you know the Indian farm protests going on and I haven't heard of anybody getting fined for those we saw tons of BLM protests so what's your thoughts why do you think in particular if you're involved in this type of protest a whopping two thousand three hundred dollar fine Basically because they are trying to make orders that control what you can do in life. And we are saying, no, you're not going to do that. The other ones are objecting to whatever um, injustices that they feel are there. But they're not actually opposing the government or challenging the government and telling them what you're doing is unlawful or unconstitutional. We are. And there's a mass of, of, of people that the government is unaware of that fully support what we are doing. For every person here, there are hundreds or thousands in the background that have said to us, we would love to be there, but we can't lose our job and we're scared. So there are a lot of people out there that are simply opposing what the government's doing. And they're scared that if we are successful, that the majority of people will simply tell the government, the f we, we know the fraud you're doing and we're not complying. Yeah, well, it's interesting. Our leader, our fearless leader, yeah. <laughs> Justin Trudeau, you know, he gave a blessing again to the Indian farm protests. And he actually got backlash from India itself about meddling in that when he said this. I would be remiss if I didn't start also by recognizing uh, the news coming out of India uh, about the protests by farmers. Uh, the situation is concerning and uh, we're all very worried about family and friends. I know that's the reality for many of you. Let me remind you, Canada will always be there to defend the right of peaceful protest. We believe in the importance of dialogue and that's why we've reached out uh, through multiple means directly to uh, the Indian authorities uh, to highlight our concerns. 
And we saw him take a knee as well, but complete silence to, like you said, uh, people who are uh, practicing their right to protest and practicing the other rights and concerned, concerned about certain rights um, being eroded in these times. So getting fined for protests isn't the only type of fine you've received. Can you tell us another one that's related to COVID-19 restrictions? Yeah, I, um, I had a health issue one day that my doctor won't see me because I refuse to wear a mask, even though they're they're basically covered. So I went to the emergency ward to, to get it checked out. It was a physical ailment. And um, they refused to serve me, or refused to, the doctors and the nurses refused to let me in and be examined by the doctor unless I wore a mask. And I explained to them that not only I'm, I'm, I'm simply not wearing a mask. And they called the police and the nurse at the hospital began to tell the police officer my private confidential health information where everybody in the gallery in the in the in the common area was able to hear it and the officer at that point grabbed me uh charged me with put me under arrest for mischief and led me out once i was at the station i was charged with two counts uh, allegedly of being belligerent and um and refusing to wear a mask the mischief charge was never followed up on you know, uh, that's interesting. We're seeing the whole belligerent thing being coupled with these fines in many cases where people say they were not being belligerent. They were just asking, why is this happening to me? What have I done wrong? So, um, yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting point because the term is not defined in the act. And it can be interpreted in, in a wide variety of, of ways that are so vague, so general, that in my opinion, it's simply not going to survive a challenge, period. Uh, in my case, the nurse kept interrupting when I was talking to the cop. So in the same voice I'm talking, I just turned around and said, will you please shut up while I'm talking to the officer? That's when he put me under arrest. And it was so telling the nurse who was interrupting me repeatedly and giving away my confidential health information, um, by telling her to shut up, the officer said that was being belligerent. Mm -hmm. That is not going to be successful in court, right. in my opinion. We do have a special website called fightthefines.ca. These are crazy times. And as you can see, he's not even the, the organizer, but somehow is ending up with thousands of fines fine upon fine for being involved in this here. So if you're getting fined for anything like that, you can go there, tell us your story, and we have supporters like you supporting there. Now, David, we'd like to offer you um, some of our lawyers to take your case, and how do you feel about that? Thank you very much, I will be. You will be. Absolutely, I'm grateful for that. And uh, they're gonna do a great job. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for standing up for freedoms in Canada. I'm so glad I got to meet you. And I hope we see, I think we'll see success here. I agree. We are going to see success. And um, I think one of the problems the government has is they refuse to acknowledge our existence and they label us and call us names because they cannot fight us on the facts. The facts are, are completely opposed to them. And that's where we're going to win. Yes, and we're going to be right there with you. Comment below and let us know what do you think is happening in Canada with people getting fined for these types, types of things. Dre Humphrey with Rebel News. Head to fightthefines.ca. You can donate there for this cause or you can tell us how you've been fined so we can help team you up with an awesome lawyer who's ready to fight, ready to take the stress off of you as you're just doing what Canadians should be free to do in the first place.